In fact, segment tonight to cover Time Magazine last week, Holy Week, featured a Michigan preacher who says there might not be a hell, that nobody will be punished for eternity. As you may know, the basis of Judeo-Christian tradition is that good will be rewarded and evil punished in the afterlife. If that equation breaks down, so does the tradition. Turning us out from Raleigh, North Carolina, Pastor Jack McKinney, a PhD who consults with religious clergy and congregations. So, good news for Adolf, Pol Pot, Stalin, Mazetum, and other villains who slaughtered millions of people, right? They, hey, they're not going to pay. That sounds like good news, huh? Yeah, Bill, I think that would not be the issue, except the church doesn't just teach that mass murderers go to hell. They teach that people like Gandhi go to hell. And that puts God in a very difficult place. We're turning God into a monster by teaching Which of a Which church teaches hell. that? Which church teaches that? My church doesn't the teach that. Catholic the church doesn't teach that. The conservative church does teach that. And the evangelical and hell... Mean? Yeah, evangelicals, but other, other segments of the church teach a literal hell for anyone who doesn't accept Jesus. Okay, I think it's a theological, that historical mistake. In the Christian community, with all due respect to evangelicals, who we do respect, uh, I think that's an extreme position. Let me, let me define what the Catholic Church's position on this is. All right? Quote, Non-Christians who seek God with a sincere heart, which would be Gandhi, and moved by His grace, try to do His will as they know it through the dictates of conscience, can also be saved without water baptism. They are said to desire it implicitly. implicitly. That is called a baptism of desire. I was taught that in the third grade, that the Holocaust victims who were primarily Jewish, they're damned because they're not Catholic? That's insane. All right, and little babies who die upon birth, they can't get baptized. They're not going to heaven? That's insane. I think the problem is, with this no hell business, is that you have to deal with the Hitlers and the Pol Pots and these tyrants. And if you say there is no hell, then there really isn't any regulation of behavior at all. And scripture goes right against that, does it not? No, I, th I think there's been a real historical and theological misinterpretation of scripture about hell. But your point there, Bill, is a good one that... All across the church, you have different interpretations of what hell really is and who's headed there. The end result, though, is if you're talking about eternal damnation for people, that is a very psychological, uh, debilitating thing. I see it all the time in my counseling practice. I see good, committed Christians, for instance, gay people, good, committed gay Christians who've been told they're abominations, they're going to hell forever. By whom, It does though? enormous yeah. damage. They're not told that by... My church, my church tells people, you don't make those judgments. No one makes those judgments but the deity, because we're all sinners. That's clear. So I think, I think what's going on here is that you're taking, Pastor, with all due respect, an extreme position in the Christian community and using it as a barometer to say, well, I can't possibly be a hell. Well, I'll submit to you, if there is no hell, Judeo-Christian tradition just breaks down. I'll give you the best example ever, and this is germane to uh, Easter and, and Holy Week last week. When Jesus turned to Judas, who betrayed him, and said, it would be better had you not been born. Okay? And then you know what happened to Judas. When you betray someone in any way, shape, or form, and you don't repent, you're gone, according to Christian and Jewish tradition. You are gone. If that doesn't exist, nothing really matters, does it? But Bill, you just articulated, judgment is best left in the hands of God. Right. But by teaching a literal, eternal hell, we turn God into a monster, Bill. I don't there think so. No I mean, I, I the believe that there hell is, we're talking about. I'm not turning God into a monster. I think God wants everybody to repent, wants everybody to be good, and gives everybody the opportunity to do that, free will. But if you spit in the face of God and you kill millions of people, I, I think there has to be a reckoning. I'll give you the last word. Yeah, so you think hell is designed for mass murderers, killers, those kinds of people? People who turn their back on good, unrepentant people who do evil in this world, I believe will get something when they die. They will not be with the Lord in heaven. Yeah. I wish that only that was being said out in the church. But do you believe what I believe? Do you believe that? No, I don't believe in a literal hell. I think it's a historical uh, and theological Do you believe in a literal mistake. heaven? I do. 
Okay, so that means you're going to see Adolf up there. Say hello to him for me, because i got to tell you, I don't want to be anywhere near him. All yeah. right, Pastor. Well, I appreciate your point of view.